a completely new look at Poppy Hills. No rough, new grass, new drainage, new traps, completely new holes at 11 and 12. It's now a par 71 from 72. And let's talk to the designer. Well, Jerry Hoffman here with Robert Trent Jones Jr., the second uh, who has made phenomenal changes here at Poppy Hills. This must be very exciting to get it going again. It is, Jerry. Uh, the, you know, I was here before it was here. Uh, we were selected to do the original course. People say, how do you feel? I said, well, I played it before it was e even built in the dirt, played it after it was built in the AT&T and other NCGA tournaments. And now I get the chance to redo do the work that we started 25 years ago. It's a huge first day of spring. Poppy Hills is renewed. 1986 was when you first uh, designed it and it opened. Uh, did you anticipate these kind of changes 28 years ago? Well, all things in life change. You know, we're all we're all uh, created by Mother Nature and Father Time. This course. The fundamentals of it have lasted the test of time. The rooting is pretty much the same, with the exception of 11 and 12. But the uh, basic fundamentals of the of the corridors and the layout are, are the same. We've just given this beautiful old lady a, a new kimono. Uh, no rough, though. What's the <laughs> rationale behind that? Well, actually, Jerry, there are less bunkers or traps, as you call them. And uh, there's there used to be about 85. Now there's 66, I think. But they're bigger, <laughs> so that's why you probably think there's more. No rough. Well, we wanted, of course, to play firm, fast, and fun. So we, the players, you know, don't like to get in that heavy rough. Young limberbacks like to hit it out of sight, and we felt if they hit it offline, the ball will run and run and run, and, it'll, and it won't stop in the rough. It'll go right into the forest, and now they've got to really work to make their part. Poppy Hills was in the rotation for so many years uh, at the AT&T, and now MPCC is uh, getting that spot. With these changes, is there a possibility that it might get back into the rotation? Well, from my point of view, I designed them, and the ownership makes that decision, the NCGA and the, and the community here. Uh, obviously, I've played in the AT&T on this golf course, as well as Spyglass, my dad's golf course, and Pebble. So uh, I love to see the best players in the world and their friends and the amateurs give, it, give the uh, course a, a run for its money, and I would welcome that, but that's for others to decide.